Hey guys, what's up? I just thought I'd start the second video right away. Uh, anyways, um, time to start uh, video two, and uh, that'll be uh, select case. How to crack a program that's using select case. So uh, we're gonna um, let's see, select case text box one dot text. And uh, basically, we're going to do case uh, I don't know, case uh, C4N, and then uh, case else. There we go. So, on case else, we just want to message box. I think I still have it saved there. Fail. On case C4N, we want to select another case. Select case uh, text box two dot text and uh, we're gonna do case yt and case else uh, message actually I'm just gonna do this and then success. Anyway, so basically this is saying uh, select textbox one dot text. If it's C four N, then continue. Otherwise, we're gonna go to case else. Oh wait, I did that wrong. It's supposed to be like uh, my bad guys. It's supposed to be case E L N C, not in uh, quotes. Anyway, so uh, basically it's saying if it's not C four N and it's not Y T, then uh, just uh, stop the program kind of thing or just continue on and tell you it's a fail. Uh, right now this project right here, rendering project, is actually the last video. So basically I'm just going to update cracking tutorial and we'll load up a new one and uh, when we go into our uh, form one and button one, you'll see it's a lot different now. But you'll see it's almost the same to crack it. By uh, This would be for uh, the first case. So uh, if it's not case uh, C4N, then we're going to go and fail. This is for the second case. So if it is, uh, if it's uh, not uh, YT, then it's load to fail. So what we want to do, we want to branch the second one, I mean the first one, instead of the first one. What I mean by branch, instead of making it go to failed, we want to make it go to success. So we want to look in here for uh, LD, load, STR, load string. And uh, we're looking for load string true, or not true, but uh, success. Uh, or where is it? What line was it on? Sorry, guys. I'm looking, I normally do look here. It's on line 20, so we want to load it to line 20, which is right here. There we go. So instead of loading us to the bail code, we're just going to load ourselves right to the success. So when we save this as cracking video 2 uh, okay now uh, what I'm going to do here is uh, run the cracking tutorial the actual program that we did and I'm going to show you what it looks like if it would open come on there we go um, so basically if we log in it's going to say failed unless we do or if we do gibberish too it's going to say failed Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so uh, now let's try uh, C, or N, and then Y T. Oh, sorry, guys. Uh, y T, and I'll say success. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. Now let's try uh, cracking video two. Uh, sorry, guys. I was trying to drag it over, but I forgot I can't. How small it is. Okay, so success. See, no matter what we type now, it's going to go instead of going to the uh, fail statement, it's just going to jump right to the success statement. See, this is supposed to load to a uh, string fail, which is uh, down here. This would be the first one. But instead of doing that, um, we're just uh, jumping into the success, which is down here instead. So uh, that's it for your second tutorial. Your third tutorial will be uh, cracking it from a different uh, routine. So we'll be making a function and uh, 
cracking that part of the code instead of actually cracking the actual sub on the button. Um, that's it. Uh, please guys subscribe, rate, and uh, comment. I'll uh, catch y'all later.